Hey everyone, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only, CPO Wellness. My name is Allie and today we're going to be talking about how to make decisions more decisively, how to overcome indecisiveness, and how to not overthink our decisions once we've made them. So I struggled for a really, really long time with making a decision and then second guessing it pretty much the entire time after I made it, or I would be crippled with indecision and indecisiveness, so I would never make a decision and then someone else would inevitably make it for me. Um, and both of those patterns weren't super healthy and I've had to do a lot of work and I've learned a lot of tips and resources and tricks through therapy over the last couple of years on how to get better and more confident in my decision making. And so I wanted to share those here with you today in case you also find these helpful. So when it comes to making a decision, staying true to your decision and understanding why maybe we are feeling like indecisive or why we might have these uncomfortable uh, feelings of indecisiveness after we make a decision uh, and like second guessing. Okay, so basically what I've learned to help make decision making easier and also help me just feel more confident in my decisions is first figuring out what my values are. So everybody has values. Um, you usually have like your top five values. If you're not sure what your values are, there are tons of quizzes that you can do online. Um, so just do one of those and then write down your top five five values. Usually when I'm making a really big decision, I focus on my top three, but if it's something smaller, more fluctuant, like where I want to go for lunch, uh, you can consider all five. Um, and so once you know your five values, basically when we're making a decision and we feel like we don't know what to do or there's two options and we feel at odds, it's likely because two of our values are at odds within that decision. Um, oftentimes when decisions are easy for us, it's because it aligns with one value and we can just do that because we know it's true. Whereas if you have two opposing values, it's going to be hard for you to decide because choosing one inevitably means that you are going against your other value, which isn't going to feel nice. But the more that we can acknowledge, label, and recognize what our values are in each decision, the better and more comfortable we'll get at making decisions. So for example, say you value adventure and having fun um, and, ex and exploration. That's one of your values. Like you always want to be learning and seeing new things and going on trips and being adventurous. And then another one of your values is your family and you really value, you know, spending time with them. Now, you might get presented the opportunity to go on a really fun, exciting, adventurous trip, but it overlaps with the time that you usually visit and see your family and maybe you can only see your family once a year and so you have to choose between going on this once in a lifetime adventure or seeing your family and that's where we have our two values that we acknowledge are at odds here and we have to decide okay which one best aligns with where we're at in our life now and makes the most sense for us right now. So I don't want you to think about, you know, two years ago or two years from now. I want you to really think about the present moment and label the two values, right? And say to yourself, okay, right now in my life where I'm at, what do I need? Maybe you've been going through a really hard time and you need, you know, the support system from your family and you want to be able to confide in them and bond with them and talk with them about that. Um, and so, you know, foregoing the adventure value and spending time with your family might make more sense. Or maybe you have been feeling super dull of late and you really want to spark some creativity and you need a change of scenery and you want to spice something up and the adventure is actually what you need in your life. Whatever it is, pick what best aligns with what you need in that moment, not what you think you need or not with you know, the guilt and the shame or what other people are asking of you. Think about truly what aligns best with your value and then choose that. Now, when we make a choice based off of our values and we acknowledge the one that we're choosing, it's helpful in that post decision making overthinking cycle because you can say to yourself, you know, when the thought comes up like, oh, I really should be with my family right now, you can say, you know, I understand that the reason this is coming up in my mind, like be aware, label it, say it's because this is conflicting with my family value, but I've made the active choice to choose my adventure value and this is what aligns best with me right now and what's most important to me right now and so I'm gonna stay true to that. And just keep bringing yourself back and know that like, just because I didn't choose this value at this time doesn't mean I'm never gonna choose it again. It just means that right now for my life, I need to structure my life to align with this other one. 
And once you do that and practice it a few times, it will get easier. And it also just helps bring you comfort in knowing that like, okay, this is why I'm feeling this, you know, indecisiveness or this like tension around this decision. But I'm staying true to myself and I know, okay, I made this one because of this and this time following through on it. So that's really, really helped me when it comes to decision making. I do it for like really big decisions and then I also do it for really small decisions. Um, I just think the more that we can be aware of our thoughts, aware of our decisions, aware of our values, aware of how we're showing up, labeling them, talking out loud to ourselves, um, and doing so kindly and empathetically, the easier it will get over time. And it's definitely helped me. And so I hope it helps you too. If you have any questions, feel free to DM us at CBO Wellness. I always try to reply back to them or leave us a comment down below. Uh, if you can give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe, that really helps our channel. So please do. And if there's someone who you think will find this video helpful, share it with them because that also helps. And we'll see you for another video soon.